barbershop conversation, guys. Feel free to hit the scarf. I had to stop this video. Houston, stand up. We're getting closer and closer to finalizing a barbershop. If you want to donate, click the link in the description box. Eddie Hearn, you might as well make a donation. Oh, that's that gray. That's that gray. I'm getting that grown man strength now. <laughs> Anyways, man. Um, I had to stop this video. Hey, I'm like Eddie Hearn's, like, tutor, consultant. Man, if this nigga, or excuse me, this cracker, excuse me, this promoter, <laughs> hey, if this motherfucker ain't regurgitating everything I just said, OMG, I'm like, this nigga, hey, Eddie Hearn be studying, studying me word for word, yo. When I say word, this nigga said I've, he's never, he said, you know what the nigga just said? He says, Deontay, can you just go in a room with Anthony Joshua and figure this shit out? Who's been saying that for two months? <laughs> oh my God, dog. I, 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 I can't believe this. I genuinely can't believe this. Hold on one sec, my boy's passing by. Hey, I can't make this shit up, man. I, I, I genuinely can't, man. I'm gonna tell you the story of what just happened after this video. But, nigga, this nigga, word for word, Eddie, Eddie is literally begging on that IFL video. He's saying everything I said, and all you Hermanites, sit your asses down, be quiet, shut the fuck up, because guess what? This, this nigga is right. This nigga is right. This nigga is so ready to give Deontay 50-50, because... The hourglass has been flipped upside down again. All right, Deontay Wilder, he knows. See, he, here's the catch. Here's the catch, Deontay. He knows the longer this prolongs, the more popular Deontay Wilder gets. Eddie Hearn is on Instagram every day. Eddie Hearn is on Twitter every day. Eddie Hearn is on Facebook every day. Eddie Hearn is watching my videos every day. Eddie Hearn is watching your videos every day. All right, I know it. I've listened to him the last nine months. Anything, anything has to do with him evolving as a promoter in America is my voice. It ain't no if ands, buts about it. Maybe so, maybe I don't know. This nigga is on my channel so much. And I can prove it. He had an interview last week or two weeks ago as it relates to Steven Espinoza. He quoted my... I was the only one to interview Steven Espinosa. It was immediately following the. Uh, um, anyways, I don't need to. I don't need to go off on that shit. You guys know what the fuck it is. So, anyways, just like I'm on YouTube every day watching as much boxing content as I can, and y'all motherfuckers say, "Oh, this little nigga in LA is irrelevant." No, no, no. I've been in million dollar deals before. I know how to leverage things. I'm not new to this. I'm true to this. <laughs> I'm Nipsey Blue to this. <laughs> Hey, hey, nigga, I am, oh, man, I am all one, man. This is hilarious. I am, hey, ding, 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 ding. I have won by knockout, not TKO, not majority decision, not a unanimous decision, but knockout. So, anyways, Deontay, you, you have the option. You can just go ahead and go knock out Adam Kronowski. Ask Steven Espinosa, can we make a deal to put that on CBS, right? Maybe late December, early November, you can give us a Thanksgiving treat. Or a uh, or a uh, a Thanksgiving treat or a uh, uh, a early Christmas present like the first week of December, maybe you knock him. You well, you obviously knock him out and uh, and uh, and Barclay because he says he's ready to die. This nigga said he's ready to die. So um, uh, so yeah, you have the option because the longer this prolongs, the most quiet Anthony Joshua and Matchroom get. And we already saw the numbers in that article. They're dwindling. There's a lot of pressure in, in their boardrooms. Don't listen. Listen. You ever miss, you ever felt the pressure of missing rent and it going into the next month? And you like, man, I gotta pay two months rent this month. That I mean, it's the same pressure. Just just a different uh uh a different room or a different uh, or it, it's the same stress what I'm trying to allude to. It's the, I've been there. It's the same stress where you go over, you got to pay the late fees, you got to pay last month's rent, you got to pay this month's rent. 
You got to put gas in your car. That's the pressures that the zone is under right now. They like, how the fuck are we going to recoup this money? <laughs> they can't recoup it without fighting a black fighter. There's no way, no how they can recoup this money without fighting a black fighter from PBC. They tried to do it the HBO way. They tried to do it the white way. Oh, if we get Canelo and Triple G. Okay. Oh, if we just get every belt in every division. Okay. What black fight fan in 78 say? You can't duplicate the sauce, nigga. There's nothing you can do to duplicate Deontay's sauce. Deontay got that juice, nigga. Deont You're going to have a lot of Deontay Wilder haters. You, you can say Anthony Joshua's better. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares at this point? The tide is turned. Uh, and, and, and the most amazing thing about this is 12 months ago, remember 12 months ago, we were in negotiations, fake negotiate. I told you they were fighting Provekin in February. Y'all didn't believe me. Uh, uh, last February, I told y'all guys that. And uh, at the end of the day, uh, the tide has completely turned. They went from offering 12 million to 15 million to 40 million and now Eddie Hearn had just said this is the biggest fight in boxing history I will be in New York for a week you know what that sounds like when that when your side chick calls you and and and, and says and you're out with your boys you're you're hanging out or, or the bitch you've been fucking that you don't care about she knows you don't care about her and and uh, she says uh she says, hey, what you doing? I said, oh, I'm going out with my niggas. I'm going to go watch the game. We might end up doing shit. She says, well, uh, she says, what time are you going to get home? Uh, about two or three. She says, call me. Call me when you're on your way home. <laughs> she just want to see you. Eddie Hearn just want to see Deontay Wilder. But it's out of your control now. It's, it's, it's. Yeah, I should check out. It's out of your control. It's literally out of your control. And, uh. Um, uh, it's you're about to take the biggest L if you don't get this sign fight Eddie Hearn you might as well close shop you're going to be a promoter but uh, you, you, you're, you're losing your steam um, you have been you have been uh, proclaimed the biggest liar in boxing uh because the most amazing thing is, is how you can disrespect. Anyway, I don't want to go on. I don't, I don't want to make this about a different topic. But anyways, Eddie Hearn, I appreciate you watching all my videos. I, I'm the champ, nigga. I am the champ. I am the I am the realest of the real as a real. Man, 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 you see these colonizers coming a mile away. And you know how I know I can see him? Because I've been in a boardroom with eight Jewish men who just see me as a little black boy with an idea being real with you guys they don't know I got millions of dollars in dirt in LA and I've already signed deeds before I've already signed uh, loans that I can't even count to you know what I mean I ain't got to pay the whole loan amount I just got to put up 20% you know what I mean I've already I've already taken that risk before I've already had fear in my heart already you understand I've already been poor I've already been homeless you know what I mean I've already been laid off <laughs> I've been in a jail cell for a couple of days. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, the point I'm saying is Deontay Wilder is no longer that little boy from Alabama no more. <laughs> and guess what? Everybody who's been promoting Deontay Wilder for the last two years, stand up. This is your celebration. He went from the little boy to Alabama to please, 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 please. He went Lenny, he went Lenny Williams on the nigga, man. The nigga Eddie Hearn went Lenny Williams on Deontay Wilder. Please, Deontay, I'll be in New York for a week. Please, if you don't want to listen to me, this is basically what he said. Please, if you don't want to listen to me, please, if you don't want to listen, I'll be in New York for a week. I'll be in town for the uh, Triple G fight. But if you don't want to listen to me, just stay and listen to Anthony Joshua. And y'all guys, and you guys go talk in the room. Please, I'll pay for it. I'll, I'll pay for you to stay. I'll invite you to the fight. But just please stay and listen. If you don't want to listen to me, listen to John Skipper. Listen to Anthony Joshua. Because 
because we know he's not that good and we must cash him out before him or you lose but it's most likely that Anthony Joshua will lose so please can we just cash this check and sign this contract so everybody can become multi-millionaires over and over again I've been breaking this shit down for you for the longest now what grandma say? The roosters are coming to roost? I mean, the eggs, whatever you guys know what I'm talking about. Put it in the comments. <laughs> I ain't heard that shit in 30 years. So, But anyways, man, barbershop conversations. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. I think, hopefully, this is the end of my allergies, man. Because allergies has been going up. So anyways, man. Uh, yeah, man. So anyways, man. Barbershop conversations, man. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. Houston, we all know. Eddie Hearn, can you pay? Eddie Hearn, can you donate and or pay for uh, the event I want to do in Houston? And you say, why? Because, nigga, I put you up on game. And the only reason why I put this nigga up on game is because I want Deontay Wilder to get that 50, 60, 70 million dollar check. That's it. That's the only reason. So people say, why you been doing this? I know what the hell I'm doing. Deontay Wilder is about to, in the in the court of public opinion right now, he's the king, he's the face of boxing. Not Canelo, not uh, who else, not Floyd Mayweather, not Manny Pacquiao, but Deontay Wilder is the face of boxing today. In this moment that I do this video, Deontay Wilder is the face of boxing. So anyways, man, uh, barbershop conversations, man. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. My business partner's here. We're about to go in and uh, uh, they have a, uh, I don't know if you guys can see, but they have a, uh, that's why I stopped the video early. They have a, uh, a uh, what do you call that shit? Um, when you speak to people about employment and stuff, so I got to go speak real quick. So anyways, man, barbershop conversations, man. What do you call that shit? A job? When you talk to people about jobs and what do you call that shit? I've been in them trying to get jobs. Uh, you guys know what the fuck I'm talking about on the other side of the computer. So anyways, man. Barbershop conversations, man. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. Don't stress out, nigga. Poke your chest out, nigga. Eddie Hearn, weight on the world. Weight on your shoulders, nigga. But you ain't built like us. You ain't built like us. You ain't built like I. What that nigga say in that rap song? Anyways, man. Barbershop. This is a victory, man. This is my victory lap. And I'm about eight blocks away from Nipsey Hussle's Marathon store. <laughs> I feel so good right now. I'm coming down now. But anyways, man, barbershop. Let me go speak real quick. Barbershop conversations. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. Talk to you guys soon. Peace.